Hello everybody. Good morning. Hello, hello. It's Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. Hope, hope you guys are doing great. I hope I see some people on here and I hope we don't have any technical issues. Um, I'm going to check my iPad here. Oh, hey Beth. How are you? Good to see you. April, hey. All right, so I guess you guys can see me. Let me just find myself here on the little iPad. Yes. Okay, cool. Good morning, Karen. Yes, Beth, it has been a while. Like I said, glad to see you. So, as you guys come on, ooh, um, <laughs> getting emails on my phone there. As you guys come on, if you'll say hi, hey, April. You will get entered into a drawing for today, so make sure you type in hi or make a comment later, ask a question, something like that. Um, but thank you guys for watching. As I said, it's Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. Hope you're having a great day. My name is Jennifer Cotton. Hey, Laura. And I'm a demonstrator, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, hey, Barbara, in Midlothian, Texas. So I teach card making, scrapbooking, home decor and lots of other things using rubber stamps paper ink tools and stuff like that hey Shirley good morning and so if you don't know how to do any of that keep watching the videos and um, contact me I have live classes here in Texas I have to-go classes and lots of other stuff so if you're new you're gonna love it uh, while we're while everyone's logging on yes it is a big day um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of cards I've received in the mail recently or were given by someone. This one, let me make sure. Yes, this was in, from Oma. Just a, like she always loves to do, just a just because email, I mean card. Thank you for sharing, Shirley, by the way. Uh, this one is from Hana, and it was a congratulations on my million dollars and um, thanking me for the million dollar event. So thank you very much, Hana. And then this one I got from Pam Easterling at retreat as a thank you for, she gave me an April one for doing the retreat. So those are some cards I've received recently. Thank you guys very much. Make sure, like I said, when y'all come on, you say hi so you can maybe win a prize from me. Good morning, Cindy. The prize this time for this, this video is sorry i'm reading my notes too <laughs> thank you for sharing laura um hey tammy okay so it's a, a packet to make four cards so here's the packet everything's cut embossed die cut ready for you to stamp and assemble there's a roll of ribbon for you to use hey brandy from uh alberta good to see you thank you for sharing cindy um and thanks for sharing, Tammy. So you will, I'll give you a PDF instructions if you win, and you'll be able to make four cards from this packet. There's also a thank you card in there. So the four cards are these four. So again, everything's die cut, embossed, ready for you to just stamp and assemble. And this was using the To A Wild Rose Bundle. Look at that. And this was the online ordering special that I offered in July. So if you placed an online order in July of 25 or more, you got this packet mailed to you. If it was 50 or more, you also received the uh, accessory. So that month it was the flax ribbon. So that's what you guys can be entered to win today. And then every month when you place an online order of $25 or more, thank you, Laura, with the host code so this is september's host code thank you barbara um any every month you do that you will receive a class packet from me so this month well i'll talk about that later but anyway because it's in my notes for later but the, there is an online ordering special this month as well with a different stamp set and again i will tell you what that is at when i get to it then Today, if you share the video, and make sure you type shared like a lot of people have already done, you will be entered to win, I moved it on top and then I lost it, the stylish scroll embossing folder from Stampin' Up! And that's what it looks like. I'm going to use it today on my project, so you will get to see it there. 
and that's for sharing. So that's the prize that I will give to one lucky winner for sharing the video today. Today is a big day. It's new holiday catalog day. It starts for you guys. All customers can order from this catalog now. It means I can show you the inside of the catalog. You can see it on video. <laughs> that folder's on your list, Laura. I understand. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Kimberly. And the folder is in the Halloween section, and that's what we're making today. But it's definitely, you know, you can use it for anything. So this catalog is awesome. You should have received your copy if you're my customer. If you didn't and you're my customer, let me know. Or if you want to be my customer, let me know and I can mail you one. As well as it's posted on my blog today. So you can view it online as well. And of course it's in the online store. You can shop from that right now. So it's a big day. I've already been entering orders for my cruise. Everybody gets $150 worth of goodies for that and we're April and I are typing in those orders today so that they can get their stuff in time to be able to bring on the cruise. Okay, so I'm going to jump in. This is, in case you're new to me, hey Linda, this is a newsletter video and stamping. So I do all the news first and I have a lot of events going on this month to, and, and in October to tell you about. So here we go. Every month I have four classes to choose from, live classes, and one of them can be purchased to go as well. Four to choose from at the same time each month here in Midlothian. So this month they're September 20th and 21st, that's Friday, Saturday, Friday five to nine, Saturday nine to three. You have card and scrapbook class, card class $15 free with the minimum order, scrapbook class $15 free with the minimum order, by the way, you can take one, two, three, or four classes all at the same time. You just move from class to class in, in our building. And so some people take one, some take two, some take three, and some take all four. So those are two to choose from. And let me show you what we made last month at those. Hey, Laura. I've got my samples right here. So card class was, I have to remember which is which. We made this one. And... I love this heirloom, I forget the exact name, but it's the heirloom. You get the dies and the embossing folders for one purchase. They First you die cut, then you emboss. And we made this one, which just was stuff I love. We made this cute birthday card. And last but not least, we made this cute little card. And I think there were a couple of degreeting options, I think, on that one. There's also always a bonus project if you bring a friend. You and your friend get to make a bonus project. So there was that card. So yes, um, who said, Karen said that's a lot going on. So, and thank you Linda for sharing and hello. It is a lot at one time, but we have it down to a science and it goes pretty smooth. I have lots of helpers, they're awesome. And yeah, it just goes pretty pretty smooth. Hey, bye Kimberly. <laughs> and um the, what am I trying to say? You work at your own pace. And then again, if you have, need help with the stamping, we have helpers there as well as me, of course. Okay, so that was card class last month. Scrapbook class last month, we made, this is, I believe, I forget how I had them now, but let's call this one page one. Look, it says live, laugh, live, laugh, love. Super cute. This one's embossed. Where is it? Right there. And then we made page two, coordinating. We always make three 12 by 12 pages. So two that match and one that doesn't. And then the next month you make the matching one or vice versa. So then we made this one for a cute back to school page. And then this month we're going to make page two which of that page so this month in september if you attend class you get to make this one Woo -hoo. you have a question okay landa's here i think she's just watching the video live <laughs> um and i have a sneak peek of what we're also making this month in scrapbook class get a good quick look Woo. that's one of them and here's another oh yes that's a sneak peek of scrapbook class for september and then, okay, so those are those two classes. 
I do not have a sneak peek of I do not have a sneak peek if you guys hear my dogs are are uh, thank you Linda they're howling again but land is here so she shut the other door um card class don't have a sneak peek yet working on those later okay then there is stamp a stack so you get to make 20 cards for $30 if you place a minimum order it's only $10 and the you make five each of four designs so this is what we made last month you make we made five of this one we're doing all Christmas now through November we made five of this one look at that so cute five of this one this is the pretty pavilion bundle by the way it's super cute and it's definitely not only Christmas but we made it Christmas and then five of this one and this is the one a lot of my people including Landa thought this was designer paper but that's our buffalo check background stamp so that's last month this month we I'm gonna give you a sneak peek so you can come make 20 cards there's one there's another remember you make five of each for only thirty dollars or only ten dollars with a minimum order and this one Okay, those are the ones we're making this month. That's stamp a stack And last but not least is the sampler class. So here is the one we made last month. What a sampler is, is framed art. And it's called a sampler because you're kind of making little square samples, uh, almost like a card or a mini card or a mini scrapbook page. Just a little square, like a three by three. So that's why they're called samplers. And um, this is the one we made last month in September. So I'll, you don't get the frame with the class. They're like 10 bucks, so you can provide your own frame and then change them out every month to decorate your home. Or a lot of people take this class and give these as gifts and so on. I'll show you also the one we made the month before last. So this month, by the way, this class is $28 or, oh, sorry, it's only $28. There's no free with an order because it includes $20 in merchandise. So when you pay $28 for that class, you get all the supplies cut, ready to stamp and assemble, die cut, etc., and also $20 in merchandise. So it's a great deal. If you take that one to go, this one can be taken to go. It's only $7 for shipping. So you can pick it up from me for $28 or you can have it mailed to you for $7. This month, we're making a Halloween sampler using the Spook Spooktacular Bash Bundle, which is the same bundle we're going to use in our card today. Our, our um, When we stamp, those are the dies. And here's the stamp set. So this is our sampler and let me read my notes. It, the fee will include a half pack of Monster Bash designer paper, full pack of Monster Bash enamel shapes. This is not a full pack, but that's what they look like. Full pack of, uh, sorry, half a roll of the basic black scalloped edge ribbon. You'll see the, all this later and a half pack of the coffin treat boxes. So again you get a lot for this class now do y'all want a sneak peek of the sampler i think it's super cute you ready did you see that okay there we go so you can still sign up for that class the deadline to sign up for stamp -a stack and sampler is september 16th the other classes you can sign up later towards the end of the time of the class so I've, I've, um, I was talking too much. Let me see who came on. Janet, hello. Hey, Rhonda, moving slow after a weekend away. I totally understand. Hey, Lisa and other Lisa and hey, Lee. Um, okay, so those are the four classes that happen every single month here live in Midlothian. I also have a demonstrator gathering each month. I don't know if Landa has the four the samples we're making this month that she can pass over to me. I forgot to warn her about that. But she's cutting for those right now. 
and it's this Saturday, September 7th at 6.30 p.m. So if you are local and you haven't ever attended one of my meetings before, you can come check it out for free. It's a lot of fun. It's a business meeting, but it's also, we do stamping. We get to see stamping demonstrations. There's uh, stamping tips, sharing of stamping, you know, samples, and all kinds of cool stuff. So you can come check it out for free. You just need to contact me and let me know that you want to come. So we are making a cute little, like an ensemble this time. And everybody's going to get a different piece of designer paper. So yours may look a little different, but look at that. There's a box, tags, all kinds of stuff. So thank you, Landa. If you want to come check us out and see what we're all about and why so many people buy the demonstrator kit, you know, and do not do classes and parties and stuff. You can come check out the meeting. Hey, Veronica. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing. So, anyone can be a demonstrator, by the way. What does it mean? It means you get a discount on your own purchases. That's the main thing it means. You purchase the kit for $99 plus tax only, free shipping. You get $125 of your choice of any merchandise, of course, including the holiday catalog now. And then you can immediately start placing orders with your discount, get host benefits with your own orders and all kinds of other benefits. So, just again, contact me if you have any questions on that. Okay, other events coming up. I have holiday catalog shares out. So this was in my newsletter that went out, but my newsletter, they're always long. But it was so long that when I looked at it on my phone, I got to the end and it said, click here to view entire message. You couldn't even see the whole newsletter on your phone. So, so I don't know if you saw the holiday catalog shares, but there will be separate emails going out for these. But uh, I have some of this stuff to show you. So a share is where you get portions of our designer paper, ribbon, or something like that. Basically a sampling of all of them. And this is from the holiday catalog. So for $35, you can get 60, 12, 60, 6 by 12, and 12, 36, can't talk, 6 by 6 pieces of designer paper. That's 96 pieces total to give you samples of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different new designer papers in our holiday catalog. Each of mine always also give you a bonus gift. So you'll get a random sheet of the brightly gleaming foil elements if you purchase the designer paper share. So I'm gonna quickly try to show you the papers I have. I don't have the come to gather to show because I basically used all of mine and that's actually what Landa's cutting up right now. But I've shown that on a previous video, so a lot of you have seen it. This is the, let me just read it from the packaging. Feels like frost, so one side is not shiny. That's this side, and the other side is silver shiny. Super cute. I'm gonna make space for all this. This is the Night Before Christmas designer paper, and on a lot of these I've used up pieces, so if you see less than you should, it's just because I've used it. But really cute. Um, it goes with our Santa, I forget the exact name, but it has the word Santa in it. Sweet. Look at this piece. Where, is, where was that one? I love this piece. Okay, then this is the wrapped in plaid 6x6 designer paper. So one side has gold foil. You see the shiny gold and then the other side is not shiny really cute wrapped in plaid and then brightly gleaming there's a lot of foil or specialty papers in this catalog so this one let me just do it this way i arrange them so that you can see every sheet if I just flip them down like this. Hey Stella, make sure y'all say hi as you come on so that you can be entered into my drawings. And if you share the video, you you can win an embossing folder, but you need to post that you shared it. This is copper foil. 
super cute, right? Yes, of course. I'm running out of space over here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something else. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then this one is called Let It Snow. So this specialty has, it's like almost like flocked or it's just really thick glitter. And then it's glittery. My snowmen don't look glittery on the screen, but they're glittery. <laughs> so, and I think I'm missing a full sheet of this paper, like I've used it all. So again, glittery snowmen. Kind of doesn't show it. Glittery trees on this one. This one is not glittery on either side. And then I think there's one more design that I've used them all. And then the last one that I have, to show you guys. <laughs> Good thing the animals aren't in here. Is the Twall Tidings. If you're watching Chris, that's just for you, Twall. <laughs> she hates to say that word. So look how cute this is. It's all red and green. And so basically you get the design in red and then the design in green. So. I know you guys want a sampling of all of these, plus the come together, plus whatever else I forgot. So only $35 for that share. And deadlines, sign up by September 21st. It's mailed or ready to be picked up by September 30th. Shipping is separate. So if you wanna pick it up from me, you can. And then these are some of the ribbons. These are the ribbons that I own right now that are included in the ribbon share. Let me just pull those down so you can see this I think is my favorite one it says Merry Christmas on it but I haven't played with all of them too much yet and then there's this one to come together which is those two but this is not all of the ribbons there's a bunch I don't own them all yet shockingly so ribbon share is $24 you get a total of 18 and a half yards Bonus gift, five star designer elements. And again, that was $24. If you order both, you only pay shipping one time, $7. Sign up by September 21st, mailed by September 30th. Okay, real quick intermission. I got a package in the mail from Stampin' Up! yesterday. And when I opened it, this was inside. My trip is in a couple, less than two weeks. And so inside I got a, do a travel document with all of my itinerary in here saying what will be happening on the trip. But all of these things were in these nice boxes here. Maybe some of you have heard of that company. And then two luggage tags. And they've got the thing to fill out there. So pretty cool. My million dollar celebrating is almost over, but not quite. <laughs> um, okay, back to, back to advertising. So I told you about all the shares and the deadlines on that. Holiday Extravaganza, that is a live event that's happening Saturday, September 14th here in Midlothian. We'll, you'll make at least eight projects. You're gonna see four awesome stamping demonstrations. There's a door prize drawing. It's fun, you get lunch, there's an optional card swap, and more. It's $45 if you sign up by September 8th, so four more days. And then after that, if there's space, it's $49. So if you're local, make sure you sign up for that. Then there's the Stampin' with Friends Holiday Celebration. Remember, this is my online event I'm doing with April and Alejandra, it's our second one and it's gonna be awesome. I've seen the projects. I gave you guys a sneak peek last time, or I wanted some last time, of all the projects that you're gonna make. I really showed you that one, didn't I? With your make and take packet that's included with the first fee. And then you also get 12 PDF tutorials, or uh, three extra P PDF tutorials for 12 projects. The make and takes will use the Christmas gleaming bundle, the perfectly plaid bundle, 
and the Gather Together Bundle, which I have now both of those here. Um, let me see. So, for $113, you get a $50 goodie bag. You get a thank you gift. You get your 12 make and takes with instructions, PDF tutorials, video, uh, video, it's not a tutorial, what's the word? Tips, video tips. You get the Facebook party. You get three wow videos on the Facebook party for three totally different suites that we'll be using. And then the three bonus PDF tutorials using Harvest Hellos, Spooktacular Bash, and Snowman Season. If you're a customer, you can copy all these. They're awesome. If you're a demonstrator, you can, you're free to use these in your business however you want. Uh, you'll get entered into a door prize drawing. And then on September 28th is the day of the party. We'll have a Facebook, I mean, sorry, we'll have an online ordering special. And of course, it'll be a lot of fun. The ordering special will extend a day or two after in case you can't be on live. You can just hop on, read what the special is, take advantage if you want. Option two is online access only. So for $59, you get everything I said, except you don't get the make and take packet mailed to you. You only get the tutorials and videos and stuff. Of course, you don't get the $50 worth of goodie bag and you don't get the gift that we mail to you. So this is again, a great option for demonstrators or just someone who wants to um, complete, co create them on their own. If you are a demonstrator on my team, don't forget you get a $10 discount. So there's a code for that. If you don't know about it, contact me before you sign up. The deadline to sign up and pay is September 15th. So you've got, it's the day I go on my trip. About 11 days, if I did that math right. And then the kits are mailed approximately September 24th and the online event is September 28th. Remember, everything's recorded so you can watch it later. So that's Stamping with Friends Holiday Celebration. Let's see who I missed here. Thank you. Okay, hey, Ramona. Hey, thank you for sharing, Rhonda and Janet. Good morning, Sherry. I think I said hi to Stella. Good morning, Pam and Linda Jennings. And Cindy, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Stamping Bingo is coming up on Friday, October 18th from 6.30 to 9.30. That's here in Midlothian. So if you're local, you can attend. We'll play six or more games of bingo with hundreds of dollars to win from the holiday catalog. Let's see, it's 6.30 to 9.30, $29 for one bingo card. It, and then it does include projects that you get to stamp as well and of course they will all be from the holiday catalog the stamping cruise so we it's too late to sign up for the crafting portion of our stamping cruise but it's not it's perfect time to think about signing up for the october 25th through november 1st 2020 stamping cruise you can get a group rate you can bring non-stampers so they can get take advantage of the group rate you can bring your whole family a bunch of friends basically your kids anyone you want and all of you get the group rate but which is a huge savings and then whoever wants to take the stamping portion can pay for that separately then if you didn't get to go on this cruise this year that we're going on next month you can still purchase the stamping portion to go so it's called the cruise mega retreat in a box thank you guys for sharing Pam and Sherry the cruise mega retreat in a box is 195 dollars you get 150 dollars really more than that in product so if you do the math 195 minus 150 means you're only paying 45 dollars for tons of projects like it's so many gifts lots of gifts and shipping we're shipping this stuff to you it can't be beat it's a great deal so what are you getting for your $195? You get $150 or more in merchandise from the holiday catalog and annual catalog that you, you will use to complete six amazing classes. Each class will have a tutorial for you to complete them with. You're going to make two albums, over 20 cards, 12 by 12 scrapbook page, double page layouts, samplers, which y'all know I love and I showed you what samplers were earlier, tags, and gift boxes gift tags and gift boxes. You're gonna have tons of leftovers to create even more. 
Again, you'll get PDF instructions and everything's gonna be cut and ready for you to assemble. So we're gonna pre die cut, pre emboss, all that stuff. Good morning, Rhonda. All you'll do is stamp and assemble. You will need to provide your own stamps, obviously, because you're not at my class. So you're gonna need the Spooktacular Bash bundle, perfectly plaid bundle, Sailing, I have to put these in the right spot. Sailing Home Bundle. Holly Jolly Christmas Bundle. And Gather Together Bundle. To complete your projects for that one. You can add those on when you register or if you're a demonstrator, you're obviously buy them from yourself or if you already own some, then you don't, you know. Or you can substitute your own stamps, whatever you want to do. The next thing I want to tell you about is November 2nd is our 10th annual Stampapalooza fundraiser. This is an event I've been doing for 10 years in a row with other demonstrators on my team. Um, you get to come out and support a great charity and go home with 12 handmade cards. It includes the stamping talents of many demonstrators, so there's several of us that do the designing. You make and keep 12 all-occasion cards, so it's not holiday only. It's Saturday, November 2nd, doors open at 8.30, we start at 9 and it ends at 1. It's at the here in Midlothian at the Civic Center and it's $30 for 12 cards and at least $20 goes towards uh, the charity. This year we are, our, our cause is, which I think I forgot to put that in my customer email, is mental health which is the same cause that Stampin' Up! is raising for with the purchase of the Nature's Beauty stamp set. So, if you look on the very last page of the holiday catalog, you'll see all that info. $3 per set sold goes to mental health organizations. And so we're going to help Stampin' Up! Stampin up out a little bit and add a little more to that and help others out, obviously. Uh, so RSVP and pay by October 22nd, and then the event is November 2nd. Okay, Stampin' Up! has a special going on this month as well. We have lots of really cute designer papers from our annual catalog. Buy three, get one free. No limit. Buy, you know, you can buy as many threes as you want. You can mix and match in any combination you want. One of them, they're all $11.50 except for one. It's $14.50. That can be your free one if you get three $11.50s and so on. So I'm going to show you my uh, samplers here of the papers that are on sale. So we have Perennial Essence. If I can separate them. See a Silhouette. Remember, mix and match however you want. This is all month starting today through the end of September. That was Come Sail Away. Magnolia Lane, Garden Lane, Follow Your Art, I'm trying to read my print here, Woven Threads, Dinah Roar, super cute, Bird Ballad, which apparently is one of the top selling items with Stampin' Up! right now, and then Pressed Petals. So this one, it's a, you get more sheets. This is the specialty paper. You get 24 sheets instead of 12. They're a little thinner and they're all double-sided, of course, but one of them on one side, you get this music print and on the other side, you get a 12 inch strip like this. And then these pieces that you can cut up individually and put directly onto a project. I skipped one. So I, put it on here this way so you can see all those they're perfectly sized for your projects that one's really cute okay so all of those buy three get one free all month take advantage no limit okay paper pumpkin so if you are gonna need some Halloween treats you're gonna want to sign up or pre-purchase by September 10th so that you can get there's the deadline, September 10th. This Halloween paper pumpkin kit. Ooh. 
this is all I know about it. Someone asked me, what does it look like? We haven't had a sneak peek, but it says they've used the word hand many times. So I don't know if there's hands or fingers in there or what, but um, 20 bone chilling treat boxes. Of course you get an exclusive stamp set every time. So what Paper Pumpkin is, is a box you get in the mail. Nick, it'll be purple this month, but anyway, usually it looks like this. Sometimes the post office loves to crush your boxes because they don't care about us. They don't care about stamping, apparently. I, I assume. Anyway, this is last month's kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it may, makes, because I haven't made mine yet, all these cute little gift bags. You can kind of see the size there. There's embellishments. You know, each kit's different. There's always an ink. This one was Mary Merlot. There's things to decorate your stuff with depending on if it's cards or bags or boxes there's like some tag stuff here we've got some vellum sheets super cute and of course there's instructions in here and they always do an instructional video as well for us you always get an exclusive stamp set that's only in the paper pumpkin kit here's the instructions And then you always get adhesive as well. So basically all you need to add is maybe some scissors and a clear block. That's pretty much it. You can make the things. Now, you can still purchase these if you did not yet for only $10. It's called the Gift of Fall Add-on. So if you got this kit and you don't wanna make the bags, you can purchase this Gift of Fall Add-on. It makes It's enough supplies to make 20 cards using the supplies from your paper pumpkin kit plus these envelopes and these two designs of cards here pretty cute now i think personally it's cute on its own even if you don't have that paper pumpkin kit for only 10 bucks you get 10 i believe it's 10 and 10 let's count oh 12 so that's 22. it's 24. duh can't do math <laughs> 24. just read jennifer Okay, so that's what Paper Pumpkin is. If you want to sign up, I'm going to put the link to, what's the word, subscribe in this video. Or you can actually go on to my website or I can do it for you and you can pre-purchase one month's worth and just get that one, that one month. When you subscribe, it's only $22, which includes shipping. So $22 plus tax for a stamp set, ink and then all the instructions and supplies for whatever the projects are that month. And you can cancel anytime or put it on hold anytime. Okay, last but not least, every month, I already I did already mention this at the beginning, that each month there is an online ordering special. So if you place an online order with me of $25 or more in September using this host code, which is entered on your shopping bag page, you just literally type that in or copy and paste it from my emails, this month, you will receive a kit to make four cards using the Gather Together bundle. So again, anything that needs to be die cut or embossed that we possibly can, we'll pre-do that for you. And then you will just stamp and assemble with your Gather Together stamp set. If your order online is $50 or more, you're gonna also get a free full accessory from me. If your order is $150 or more, which of course is very easy to do with this holiday catalog, do not put in the host code. You'll still get the stuff from me. And then you will receive host benefits. So some free stuff from Stampin' Up. Am I locked up? No. My um, phone went very dark, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna get a sip here. Yes, um, Laura, I like that bundle too. Okay, so we're gonna do the stamping now. So don't forget to say hi as you come on or, and, uh, or share the video. When you do, you're going to be entered into a drawing to receive some free stuff from me, which I showed at the beginning. So I'm gonna point you guys down now to get started with our stamping. And I may have to do a little adjusting like always to see how it turns out Whew. it's super 
far from the thing and crooked. <laughs> okay, so don't forget about that online ordering special. These are the supplies we're going to use today. I didn't list them online because they are so new. You know, if you're not a demonstrator, you would not be able to own them by now. We're going to have our card base, which is Whisper White, five and a half by eight and a half. Then a four and a fourth. No, five and a fourth by four. Five and a fourth by four basic black. We have a strip of the, oh, this is the other designer paper that I didn't show you earlier that's in the share because I was going to show it now. This is called Spooktacular, I'm sorry, Monster Bash. So I'll show you real quick. It has this super cute one that's kind of like the game Clue. And then that side there with all the houses. You can see you can punch those out. It's got all these people. Like a newspaper for ghouls. <laughs> this is the piece we're using on our card. And you can see I've used a bunch of that as well. Let's see. So it's got all those books and then articles or something. This piece, the bats, the black and white design, the crushed curry, all these bottles of stuff, which I think there's, I can't remember now. Oh yeah, scrap of book. Like if you read these, you might see some little stamping inspiration. Spider webs and the little trick-or-treaters. Okay, so that's that's the paper we're using. This is the piece I cut down for this one. And then we have a piece of basic black. I'm trying to remember what it's for. Oh, it's to die cut a circle from. So I'll show you that in a sec. And then a scrap of Sahara sand cardstock, which matches this really well. So I'm gonna start out by folding my card base in half. with the bone folder. I always, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do that right. Uh, we're gonna fold this in half with the bone folder. So I always like to do that on the table. I align my two corners, pinch it only once, and then press really firmly with the bone folder. And then I'll set that aside. That's my card base. Then for stamping from Spooktacular Bash, we're gonna stamp have a Spooktacular Halloween in Memento Black ink. So here's the stamp, which I've already mounted onto the clear block. Don't forget our new stamps are all, if they're red rubber, they're all clean which is the kind that stick really, really, really well, like that well. But when you take them off of your clear block, you need to make sure you get up under there and get it started under the sticker before you peel it off. Just a little reminder there. And I'm using Memento Black, so you can press really hard on this stamp pad. It's more firm than our regular pads. Just stamp that right in the center of this Sahara Sand scrap. And then from our layering circles framelits, which is 16 different circles, scallops and regular circles, I'm gonna cut that black circle. And then from the awesome ornate frames, which by the way, do not think of these as only Halloween because they're not. They are, they're just ornate frames and tags. So you can literally use these for anything that they would fit with basically. You know, if your image fits inside there, use it. You can layer this one inside of there and this one inside of here. I'm using this frame here that comes with it that again, you could use for anything, but it kind of looks like a tombstone when it's used in the Halloween sense. Okay, and then this piece here of basic black is going to get embossed 
with that embossing folder that we're giving away in the drawing for sharing the video. It's the stylish scroll. Okay, so let's grab that good old Big Shot. Since we still are not sure when Stampin' Up's coming out with their machine. <laughs> I have the magnetic platform, a clear cutting pad on bottom, and then a, a more clean one for the top. So I'm going to do the two things I'm going to die cut first. The circle, and then this one I need to align the image a little bit better. Move this so you can see. So the circle, I'll just throw it on there, and then this one I'll actually pay attention to alignment. And then put the clear cutting pad on top and run that through one time. And this one, some of the dies in this ornate frame set put stitching on the edges, and this one does, so very nice. And then of course we have our circle, our scallop circle. And then I'm just going to take off the magnetic platform and switch over to the platform that comes with the Big Shot, the Big Shot platform, without the adapter that goes on top. And this folder is the thin regular style, so it needs to go between two cutting pads. And I just use really old ones for my embossing because they're really old and they're not, it's, you know, it doesn't matter if all this etching is not going to seep into my paper because it's protected by the folder. So put that in, roll it backwards. I always insert the folded end into the machine first. So if I'm going this way, the folded end goes this way or that way, vice versa because I had one break one time from going in this way. It kind of like built up pressure and then broke. So I've never done that again, just in case. Okay, so I think we have all our pieces now. I'm gonna bring in the Sahara Sand ink pad and grab my adhesive. And I think we need those dimensionals. And I have that ribbon. So this is the scalloped edge ribbon that's also in the ribbon share. It's really nice. Like Again, not just Halloween. It's got a lot of detail in it. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's really nice. And then that designer paper. Let me tell you the measurement on that. I believe it's two, yes, two inches by five and a fourth. So it'll fit on there. Okay. Oh, I forgot a piece. Let me grab it. In the designer paper, I forgot that I needed one of these houses for, the, for my card. So, you just see if there's one next to the edge that you can punch out. And if not, just make a little cut to get to it. So, there's that. And that's the two-inch circle punch. Thank you for sharing, Linda. Hey, Jewel, good morning. Jewel, let me know if you received your uh, cards I mailed to you. Jewel won the cards from the last video. Okay, so I'm gonna put my house on the scallop circle. So that was the two inch circle punch, so it fits perfectly on that scallop. Then I'm going to add this designer paper and I'll put a little more adhesive than normal because it's going on to embossed cardstock. And I'm gonna add that to my cardstock. Oh, wrong side. On the left. Perfect. So we have that, that, and this. This piece here, I want it to match this designer paper. So I'm gonna sponge Sahara sand on the edges. Just Dip it and scrape on the edges. That's the best, to me, that's the best way to sponge. Instead of, some people lay it on the table and do this, but you get a more defined edge when you scrape it. Okay. We're going to add the ribbon. Grab my reverse tweezers. These are tweezers from the craft store, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And 
I like to buy them on the in the section of the store where they do jewelry making so it's like for beading and what I did is or I'm sorry what I did what I do with those is make a plus sign get to the point where you're ready to tell someone can you please put your finger there and instead take these tweezers and pinch that now your hands are free to tie a bow or a knot we do want a knot today by the way whoever wins this embossing folder is going to get this card to go with it so yay okay and then so that's the reverse tweezers thing and then trim this ribbon off. I always like to tie the ribbon from the boat roll if I can to save ribbon. There's much less waste that way. Okay. And Jewel, yay, you got your cards. <laughs> yeah, I don't have trouble keeping it simple. <laughs> I have trouble keeping it not simple. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so Stampin' Dimensionals. Let's put some on here. I'm really into cutting them in half now. I used to literally never do that. I was like, why bother? It takes too much time, but it doesn't really. And it saves, you know, it makes them go further. And you don't need a ton of dimensionals when you do projects. Like, you just don't. Depending on what it is, I mean, sometimes there are exceptions, but you, in general, you don't need a ton. I only did four there because it was near ribbon and sometimes that can interfere, but here I'm just doing the two, two halves. Where does my house go? Sorry, but my uh, brain's not working upside down today. So there's that. And then that's gonna go on our card base. Let's see who I missed here. What did you say? Linda ordered. That's what I thought also with the trio tags. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I have to rewatch later and see what you're talking about. Okay, so just put this on the front. And you are going to have a really cute Halloween card. Oh, I forgot one step or one little extra to add. So these are the monster bash enamel shapes as you can see i've used several of them but i'm just going to grab any random bird here a uh, raven and put it on actually this one had it here on the other one but that interferes with the spider so i'm going to put it here and that he's just sitting there on the little tombstone <laughs> so kind of cute so there's the card we made today. I do have one little bonus project that's basically stamped. I just want to show you how to assemble it real quick. But let me know what y'all think about this. Why does Jennifer do her stuff so crooked? Why? It's very annoying. Did I just make it worse or better? <laughs> you see me? <laughs> okay. So there's that one. Now, what I want to show you guys is the coffins. So these are, that was kind of creepy that you could see my eye up there like that. The coffin boxes, I'm going to look it up for you real quick. You get 12 boxes and lids for $7. So you can make 12 coffins for $7. And you can emboss, you can do all kinds of stuff with them, emboss and stamp on them and all that stuff. What I did was I just folded this lid up as good as I could and I put it down on the designer paper and traced it and then cut that out and it actually came out pretty good. I'm not a very good hand cutter. And then I die cut one of the ornate frames from Poppy Parade cardstock and put that on there and then stamped the little vampire. I was gonna say Valentine. Stamped the little vampire in memento black and then colored him in with Stampin' Blends, Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade. So what I wanted to show you was how to assemble it. So, as you see here, you can pause the video later, I have placed tear and tape, which is this stuff here. It literally tears off. So, you can cut it with scissors and you can see I did on some spots and on others I tore it. But you can do either. 
but it's super sticky. I put tear and tape on all the tabs. First, I fold it on every single score mark. You have to do that first. Every single one, don't miss one. I usually do it this way where it's facing me. Fold on every score mark, much easier to assemble. And then if you press on your tear and tape while it's on the table and then just in the very center, I like to use my fingernail, but if you don't have any nails, you could use like a, a paper piercer or some kind of tool. But I have always found that as long as you do it right from the middle, not the two ends, you don't need a tool. It just comes right off. Like, come on, that's all you gotta do. Okay, and then you just start putting it together. It's extremely simple. It's all cut and, and scored for you. So, very easy to put together. Same thing here. You, the only tricky part is cutting the tiny little triangles of tear and tape on just for those two tabs. But I've put many, I've put at least five or six of these together. And so it's not difficult. It's just like, pay attention, don't cut that piece too big. So uh, you might be able to also use glue dots on this, but I just wanted more full coverage and I don't mind tearing tape at all. I think it's easy to use. So then we are gonna put that lid on. You could definitely decorate this with more, of course you put candy in there first or toothpaste. <laughs> just kidding candy um, you could decorate it with more stamps and die cuts and stickers and blah 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 I'm just gonna tie it closed with ribbon so that whoever uh, receives it gets to open it and that's it I just wanted to show you guys these cool coffins and how easy they are to put together and how very inexpensive they are grab those tweezers again so let's see who I missed here Linda Barbara hey Cynthia from California thank you for sharing I'm still looking here Hannah make sure you say hi so you can be entered into my drawing I showed your card earlier <laughs> Linda I'm glad you like the coffin box I know Halloween might not be for everybody, but just in case you like it, here we go. So there are a couple of cute projects. You know, I have more coming as far as just in general with the product-based class that I'm doing this month, the sampler class, I mean, with, what else? Uh, our cruise, there's lots more where I'm gonna be I and or April will be using these products and there's so much you can do there's a really cute die in the holiday catalog that says wicked and my mine Landa got hers a day or two ago so she loaned it to me but mine is coming tomorrow I believe and I'm gonna be using that on our some of our cruise projects as well so it says wicked isn't that cute there's a matching stamp set. I haven't ordered that yet. The die is only $15 and it comes with a spider. So anyway, just lots of cute Halloween stuff this year to choose from. And so I just wanted to show you guys some of that. Now, bring you back up. Put my finger in there. Thank you, Carol, for sharing. Yes, Hana, I missed you so much. <laughs> Glad you made it though. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching today. I hope you're going to have a great September. I hope you're going to have a big wish list just like me from the holiday catalog. If you all have any questions, let me know. Don't forget, if you order online with me $25 or more this month, you get a free class packet. And if you, if your order is 50 or more, you'll also get a free full accessory. So that's for September, but there's one every month. Um, thank you. What did I just see? Oh, thank you for sharing, Carol. And you're welcome, Linda. Thank you. Thanks for watching. So I will see you guys hopefully soon at something. And have a great week. I don't know when I'll be live next, so you know me. If I do decide to go live before next month, I will announce it. 
Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.